Hey, thanks for coming to the weekly check-in. We're going to be going over some weekly highlights, some new arrivals, some recently priced records. As always, if you see anything you like in this video, you can uh, DM us on Instagram, call the shop, or just come in and pick them up. Uh, we're open 11 to 8, seven days a week. So, yeah. So let's get started on some weekly highlights here. For me, I'm a, uh, I don't know, I can't stop playing this record. Yeah? Yeah. It's uh, something I grew up with, you know? It's like a, a, a classic record. I think I've like talked, I know I've talked about it on our videos before. But uh, yeah, it's just a record that is, doesn't make a lot of sense, I guess. It's like, a, it's like if you were, like if you were to do like, um, I think if you were to do like moody college rock, like American moody college rock, which is what it is musically, mm -hmm. you maybe wouldn't have like um, the uh, like very serious po-faced lyrics, you know? Like nothing about love, nothing about girls or anything, you know? Yeah. That's just weird in itself, like serious music that isn't about relationships. And that is kind of soft. And it's not like, you know, metal or hardcore. Yeah. I don't know. And on the other side, if you were to make like a very serious, like, I have these political beliefs, no one should have any fun. This is time to be real here. I don't think you would like have wimpy music in the background. It doesn't make any sense. I love it. I'm going to try to listen to this record every day till the end of the year. And I don't know why. <laughs> I'm figuring it out. Again, I like, was, I was like listening to this record a lot in high school and shit. I, I know the record like the back of my hand, but I'm just in some weird loop with it. So yeah, I don't know. There's, there, there's my highlight. What cool. do you got going on here? We got uh, this dollar record by uh, Haircut 100. I never sat down with their records. I honestly, I only knew one song for the longest time. What's and that was uh, Favorite Shirt was the song I knew. Cause I think- I like the, I like the lyrics yeah, already. Great, say that great title. Um, I don't remember why I know that song. I think like I heard it in the mall or something, or like I was at a store. That's where you hear good music. Right? Yeah, I was like, let's just say I'm at a Kohl's, and then they started playing it really loud, and I was yeah. like, wow, this is actually really. Did you Shazam it? Was nice it Shazam shirt. days? Yeah, it was like year, it was like it was like <laughs> maybe six years ago. It was like the one song I only knew that one song, but recently I started, I saw this record, and I was like, oh, I know that one song. So might as well listen to it, and I, you know, it stuck with me. Is now it, it is, but yeah, I feel I'm trying to like uh, I don't know how's it how's it how's it rank next to like a is it like a Pet Shop Boys here kind of synth pop or oh it's I don't know man there's I wouldn't say they're all over the place but yeah I don't know I'm in this like weird go on like not two tone or anything but I'm listening to a lot of ska lately. You like music made by attractive British men. Yeah, we I don't all, know. We both like is, music made by attractive British men. Is the, is the singer of Bad Manners that attractive? I'm listening Obviously. to a lot of Bad Manners. Obviously, why okay. wouldn't he be? Are you body right. shaming right no, now? No, I'm not. Cartwheel but, shaming? Huh? Cartwheel shaming? No, I'm just Guy saying. Guy from Bad Manners I don't, does really badass cartwheels. Yeah. What's that song where he does it in, that French song? Can Can. Yeah, look up the Can Can video on YouTube. It's I funny. think it's on Top of the Pops. Yeah. So really he's impressive. just dancing. Yeah. Anyway, so he's hot. Yeah. These guys are hot. Yeah, these guys are hot. But um, I don't know. It's it's like a weird mix because it's not full on like you know, Pet Shop Boys or right, like right. Beach or something. I don't know. It's just like pop music. All right. Well, we are discovering <laughs> this underground band called Haircut 100 yeah. right now. <laughs> so it out. we're tuning you into uh, like you know the hottest, most cutting edge music. <laughs> Let's do some new arrivals here. Uh, they got the jam records. I don't know how these are still here, man. No, I don't know what it, yeah. how either. Especially got a, that one. Yeah, I got a nice serving of, um, it's like funk, jazz fusion, uh, smooth jazz, whatever you want to call it. Just some solid groove. That was my whole weekend, was just playing this shit on repeat, man. This is nice. UK pressing of all things must pass. You don't see this too often. Uh, three LPs, no booklet. I would call it uh vg vg all around um yeah that's a vg a good vg though not the sketchy vg where I like vg and it's a hockey puck <laughs> but it's ain't it, it's i'm not gonna i'm not i'm not gonna lie about it being a, a vg plus here there'll be scratches it'll it'll play all right though so um yeah i had a nice collection of um this guy clearly lived in uh or someone involved in 
the organization clearly lived in Holland, I think. Mm. That's not separate from the uh, batch of like uh, funk records that we got in, obviously. Um, and so, yeah, just nice seeing some some Euro pressing. Condition was a little spotty on it, but in a way, you know, it's kind of nice because then you can be, uh, you don't have to be too precious about the pricing. You can give the folks a break here. And that's what we got coming up uh, after we get through these guys here. Some decently priced hits. Biggity bam, biggity bam. Tagging and tagging some, some of these in the throne room. Some of the metal stuff we got from last week. All right, and here's a very freshly priced, yeah, I think like Holland or Dutch pressings, I don't know. Uh, oh, did those those Zeppelins sell today? Yeah, so uh, we sold a lot of Zeppelin. I'm not yeah. sure how much is left in here. There was uh, probably, it uh, looked like none. Yeah, as you can see, they're kind of tatty. They're, they'll play up through all right, you know, but um, definitely not like crazy. Is this a UK? Yeah, garage and loft house, bro. Come on. Uh, yeah, but uh, so not the most clean copies, but still nice to get alternative cover art here. Ooh, look at this guy on his last legs. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> um, he has some good collections and whatnot. Textured sleeve. This was a nice collection, man. I was listening to this. I'm, you know, and I'm like kind of feeling, whenever I'm feeling kind of down or moody, I'll, I'll start listening to Bob Dylan. I don't think it's necessarily down or, or moody music. This is a great one. Um, but it's uh, it's just like contemplative. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a, a, a viable descriptor. Yeah. But, uh, another really good one. This has some hits on here. I think I'd probably put a couple of those on the jam of the day. If I haven't yet, then I soon will. But yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice best of. I, just, I don't think I really need to prat on about a Dylan best of. I just love this cover. Look at this weirdo. Dang, dude. He's driving a bike of himself. Where's he going? That's real fucking... Is this French? Uh, what Dutch. Is this Dutch? Dutch. Yeah, it's like, um, I don't know. I guess this is, if you weren't really, <laughs> like, the early European, like, dabblings in, like, hip-hop and stuff. <laughs> and, like, how, like, just blissfully kind of clueless they were. Like, yeah. oh, we will have the scratching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Funky Dieter, and I'm here to say... That's, that's what he's doing? Got some tapes here. Oh, I'll just freeze it. Ooh, yeah. Uh, hold on. This is your zone. I'm really... This is my zone. I'm kind of surprised you didn't uh, sell day, these. Uh, wow, <laughs> well, I guess you wouldn't sell them since it's your zone. I would have just taken it. Yeah. No, um... I don't know, man. I have most of these. Personal. Well, that's not what we're talking about. Yeah. I'm looking at you for trying to get your fucking Discogs inventory. <laughs> hey, let's get, everyone go to my Discogs. Don't go to it. Do you I have a Discogs? No, I have a profile, but I don't... Have you ever bought anything on Discogs? I tried. They wouldn't let me do it. What do you mean wouldn't let you? I think it was like in the beginning of all this quarantine stuff. So they were like, Wait, so we're on. not going to ship it. Uh, what, were you, what were you trying to get? Don't want to talk about it. I'm kind of fascinated in this now. It's, this might be an off-camera conversation. Yeah, no, uh, you can talk about it right now. Uh, it was a suicidal, uh, what's it called? So there's a global pandemic. And I was like, oh, you know what? I need the time, baby. <laughs> I need this before I die, really. I need to hang this up on my wall. <laughs> and then they were like, nope. And like, I was like, okay. Whoever was selling it wouldn't sell it uh, internationally. What were you having? What suicidal record do you need? That yeah. was manufactured overseas. That's the thing I don't want to talk about. Man. Was it? Okay. <laughs> it was the possessed to skate. Okay. But at the time, it was like... Did, someone... it have, did it have the poster? Or... Yeah. Okay. Presumably, it was like 25 why you, bucks. Why would you be shy to share that? Because you shame me all the time. Well, I would never shame you over <laughs> you possessed to skate with poster. That's, that's very reasonable. It was 25 with like, I don't know, whatever international shipping. But they wouldn't, they wouldn't send it. They wouldn't let me buy it. I don't have a feeling. I had a problem with, uh, this is really exciting stuff, I know. Uh, I had a, I had a same, similar problem with like a Venom record was like, that had a poster. It was like hundreds of dollars. And I was like, oh, I'll do it, whatever. Fuck it, all angry. So I, that's what, those are my re online record purchases now. Just angry, no, fuck it. No, I, I get it. I'm the, I, I think fuck I was that hell. way when I went to go buy that suicidal record. It's a lot of weird just <laughs> I don't know. No one's just buying shit they want or need. It's just us weird, kind of horny, angry. Ah, I want it. Fuck you, mom. Yeah. 
lot of fuck you mom energy. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> fuck you mom, I'm gonna... I will buy this pinball machine. <laughs> uh, the pinball machines, they're backed up. We won't be able to make them for fuck. another... Yeah, that's exactly what it's like. Uh, we got some YouTube comments. I felt so happy. I asked everyone for comments. We're, we're up to, to 19 followers. Yeah, let's see if we can make it to, I don't know. Let's... I want to I wanna be the, I want to, I want James Charles to one day rip me off. That's, is that goal? <laughs> is that goals? Yeah. All right. Anyways, uh, but I asked for YouTube comments. I got them. I'm going to read them. And we can maybe in the future, you know, if you have a question or something, you can ask in the comments and I'll read them on the video and uh, we can address them. So uh, the homie, the homie fuck face. Okay. He said we're the best. Nice. I, I, I guess I, it would, it, I'm not supposed to say I agree, right? I don't know. I do. <laughs> I mean, and then the, the it's just a nice compliment. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, fuckface. Uh, and then uh, Jose Pena says, great selection, thorough knowledge of different genres. Cool. Nice. And we're trying. And see, this is, a, this is, a, this is we're, we're opening the gates here with the, with the comments. So you, you ask and leave a comment and we'll talk about it in the video. Give you a shout out. I don't know if that counts as a shout out. It's not a shout out, right? I don't know. Anyways. I mean, Fuckface was a shout out. Yeah, I'll always give a shout out to Fuckface. Yeah. All right. But anyways, leave a comment. We'll talk about it next video. And uh, you saw what we had. If you see anything you like. Oh no, I found a new, I learned a new stance. Oh, you got a new stance? Yeah, this is a, you do this if you're like a reporter. Oh. Triangle. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs>